when you want to uh, develop collaboration amongst your students, especially in an in a writing classroom, in a in a composition and writing classroom, it's important that you uh, develop in them a sense of group work and pair work. And from my own personal perspective, as a as an English language teacher, while teaching at different universities, especially composition and writing courses, I've seen that students need training, students need awareness, students need understanding about the significance of group work and pair work. It's not like that you simply go into the classroom and put them in groups and pairs and start and make them work. No, not at all. On the other hand, rather before starting the lesson, in an, especially in a writing classroom, it's important that you put them in group and you put them in group in, in, in such an intelligent manner, such a clever manner that each student can benefit from the other. Right, so group work and pair work is important for the students to help them to enable them build up the writing habit, which they can uh, not forget after the classroom. So, of course, there are we have a variety, diversity of students. Some are like uh, some believe in individual work, and some believe in. Um, collaboration or group work or pair work. So it's important that we accept, embrace the diversity. We don't exclude those who are much more uh, introvert, who are much more like individualistic in their approach towards writing. So of course we have um, some students who want to work on what their own version, their own understanding. There are some advantages of individual writing because at the end of the lesson, it's our aim to make them independent writers who can take charge of their own writing. So it's important that the teacher takes an active role in a writing classroom where she keeps rotating um, from giving charge of one student to the other. So. It's important that the teacher gives them, like kind of create such type of rotation where every student feels immersed, involved, and participated. And now with the help of computers, uh, we can take our students, especially when we are training them how to write, we can take them to the lab or we can ask them to bring in laptops. I have done this uh, exercise like, making it important for the students, rather compulsory for the students to bring in computers, laptops um, in, in a writing classroom. And I, I've seen like putting them in, into the group and asking other students to watch how sentences are created and how they are actually the way they are created. And I also actively used um, uh, the PowerPoints to uh, write the on on a word document to write different sentences so that uh, the learning becomes a memorable experience so of course there are different types of prompts which we can use in the classroom in in writing for example touching upon gender issues um, can activate the schema of the students and can it can provoke healthy discussion. So the way we make the activity engaging is important. And I have seen that some students like to be um, uh, competitive while they are writing. They, they want to outdo the other people. So it depends upon the level that you are teaching, especially at the lower level, use of pictures, and at the intermediate level, some uh, stereotypical or some healthy discussion based prompts can uh, provoke discussion. So a language classroom should look like uh, a learning environment where the students sit in circles and where they learn from each other 
and i've seen many uh, teachers especially from training point of view that they make the use of fairy stories in the in the writing classroom which enables students to memorize key information to memorize key words fascinating words and then recreate their own version of that fairy story so from pictures to spur writing uh, we 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 can provoke some discussion and we can present some situations where their actually use of grammar and vocabulary is is activated and then we can use some uh, prompts which make the students describe some pictures so this is how there are different activities there are different tasks there are different ways of bringing in uh, group work and peer work in the classroom and in this regard it's important that you you might have observed in this discussion that teachers role is important because teachers should understand the dynamics of a writing classroom and how students can benefit from each other's writing how they can access each other's mind and how can they can benefit from each other's knowledge